This bat's fucking stupid. <laughs> now, and you know, is that yours? I'm gonna measure that. Is that, see how is that yours? Yeah. Don't take too many. Hey, don't take too many more cuts. I want you never hit a ball that far. Dang. This bat's ridiculous. Put it away. Yeah, you got a little bit of head, but not that. Not that much. <laughs> I put it away, Trey. Yeah, I know. Wait till I get in there. Well, that might be close in a second. Ooh, it's close. That's cool, dude. Now the wrapper. Oh. I just want to make contact. Yeah, that's cool. What? I just want to make contact. I didn't even fuck Jake. I'm telling you, that bat, one of the best bats I've ever swung. Thank you. Man. Is that just a different weight? That's a different seven. Well, let's see how this one does out of the wrapper. This one doesn't have a swing on it. Is that yours? Yeah. Second fence, dude, and this no swings on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I got it out. Did it? Yeah, I did. To me, we didn't play the whole game. Oh, 
Yeah. Charlie, have you swung these? No. Nope. He's gonna enjoy it. I drink. That's why I drove three hours this morning. <laughs> Just for that one. Yeah. Oh, way over. We come. We come. <laughs> Finish this review today. I know, but that was a little higher than you usually like it. I think you pushed the <laughs> God dang, dude. I think you pushed the ball really good. And the reason the reason I say push is because you threw your hands out. And and yeah, the way you yeah, the way you hit it, it, I call it pushing, but you push it out here and you cut it real good. And that ball went a freaking mile, dude. Got a ton of carry. I don't think you hit that ball. You hit that one pretty good. Oh, shit. That's Trey's, the new one. Now break it in, Trey. Hey, you notice how I throw your spinner? Look at that shit, dude. She doesn't matter with those bats, though. It's not the bat as me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. But it's not the Indian. It's not the arrow. It's the Indian. <laughs> Over. Yeah. Woo! 
That's a 27. Ceremony? Yeah, you do. You get in the after we finish hitting. You get in that one. One more day. Almost, almost. Almost got the second pitch. Almost one hop to second pitch. Almost got it too. Wasn't a good swing either. I know. that ball right there. Bill tried to fix it. Hey. <laughs> See what I mean about making a mistake? You can, yeah, that bat will get you in trouble. Yes, it will. To think that, that, that swing was like they let, they let you think you can do anything with it. Yeah.
more day. Breakfast tacos. <laughs> that's, that's Rolando right there, baby. Chino. These juicy tacos. The Rolando tacos, man. Those freaking huge tacos. You guys are killing me. Do you not watch this every once in a while? Any of you guys ever watch? Look at this. Yeah. Sweet. Hell yeah, dude. There's two men in this place. My dad. My dad. Well, it all depends on where it's from, the Manero.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You're the worst of them all. <laughs> you see what I mean? You're the worst of them all. Grab train. Oh, um, right there. Yeah, you know, Clip, Clip wants you to do Facebook Live. Who does? Clip. My buddy. We hit knuckleballs with that bat, man. This is a 27 too. Yeah. But it's heavy. Yeah, but did you see that rise? Yes. Yes. Look at that ball.
can miss it. I know. Miss it and it's still gonna go. Yeah. See, that's how come I, I say that bat will get you in trouble. Hit that
like 27 to a 26. My last review of the year. And by watching this video, you already know what's gonna happen. Pleasantly surprised everybody was. From age of 50 to 75 with this bat. It's the wig popper. Now, when we got it, I'll tell you the truth, man. <laughs> we didn't, and you can see at the beginning, you know, when we did that that video about a teaser video, right? When we first started doing this, we uh, swung that Big Daddy cell block, a little bit tougher barrel. And you, you can see, you know, we kept on trying to get it to open up. It was a little stiff, but it would have little spots where, you know, the barrel was, you know, sweet spot on it, got it to be about that big and it never really released. It never really got that big trampoline effect. And then when we got this, we were like, all right, we'll, we'll go ahead and try it. And because a lot of people were asking me about it if, we, if I've swung one. So we grabbed it and started swinging with it. And you can constantly hear me in all these videos go, this bat will get you in trouble. And I'm gonna explain the reason why it will get you in trouble. First, let me talk about sweet spots. Huge in this bat. It's, it's, it's big, right, on this wig popper. Handle standard, it's got a standard handle, got a small knob, which really doesn't affect anything, but it's got that standard handle in it. It's not thin, it's not thick. It's got, the end cap is flat on it. The weights on this, and this is a 26 ounce. It's 17 ounce on the end, and eight five on the hands. The 27 ounce is 17.5 on the end, and it's 8.9 on the hand. So what they're doing now, and I, and I love this shit, what they're doing now when they go up in weights to a higher weight, like, like I talked about in the past, they're taking two thirds of an ounce, putting it here and one third here. A lot of back companies, the old back companies that are still around don't do that. The established back companies do not do that. A lot of you newer back companies out there started to do this. California Back Company, Short Porch is doing it when they go up in weight. So what you're doing is holding performance. You're not putting weight in that hands to deaden that and make that, allo make that bat a balanced bat. So if somebody wants a heavier weight, they can handle that big end load. A lot of the established old back companies do not think like that. That's how come you get new blood. This is what happens when you get new blood. California Back Company, you get new blood and they're different thinking with these guys and you develop this shit right here. Wig popper, the reason it'll get you in trouble. And I've talked about this because you can hit shit pitches a long way. So it almost makes it where you can hit any pitch. And the reason I say it gets you in trouble is because I was going for pitches six inches outside the strike zone on the outside or on the inside because in my mind, I knew the bat would do all the work for me. All I had to do is lay some wood on it. That will get you in trouble because you're not going to get that all the time. You're not going to get that same swing all the time. Like I, there was a ball that was outside. I reached out and hit it and I hit it good. Well, on a lot of top tier bats out there, you can't do that. You really got to hit, have, put a good swing on it to get some performance out of it. You don't have to do that with this bat. The wig popper from short porch cell block, 12 inch barrel, one piece bat. This bat kind of swings like the 12 inch Dudley 2.0 that I've swung for years is what this bat feels like and swings like. We love the bat, we love the way the bat performs, as you can see in the video. We got Trey Roberts, which is a two-piece guy. Hit one of the furthest balls he's ever hit at that field. At that field, I'm not talking about any other play. He hit the furthest balls he ever hit, and he's done a lot of reviews on bats. One of the furthest balls he's ever hit at that field in the power alley where he hit it. And you can see in the video where we're talking about it. I like it, 
I love it. I think a lot of you seniors out there will enjoy it. And the reason is because you really don't got to put a good swing on it to get any kind of performance. Even hit, hitting the ball down, hitting the ball right side, hitting the ball five, six hole. You know, you can take those pitches that are out of the strike zone and hit it with authority and get performance on it, which tells me you got great flex in the barrel. You got great flex in the hands. That sweet spot is freaking huge. And that's the reason we're getting that kind of performance. A lot of you guys are going to ask me about durability. We have not cracked one yet. We've got 800 on one. I'll let you guys know later on in the video when I actually go in there, I'll actually put in the video on the description down below how many swings we got on them. We got a couple of more in the other day whenever they got their order that came in. We're gonna swing those and see if they're as good as the first or second bat. So we actually just got this in the other day and I'm gonna let you guys know in the description down below if it's the same bat. I'll let you guys know that too, just to make sure. And I told you guys in an update video that I was gonna do this. First batch looks good, second batch looks good. I'll still be doing the third batch and kind of take a look at it. We'll go out there and purchase those and let you guys know what we think about it. You heard somebody the other day talk about this where the barrel, you can see behind the scenes, and I want to correct this. The, he's, he was saying that the barrel is soft. The barrel is not soft on this bat. It's not imploding. It actually is staying at compression. We haven't compression tested it, but it's staying at compression. It, on that one with 800 swings has got great flex in the barrel. It's not imploding because we've got guys in there. Mark Reeves, you can see him in the video. Mark Reeves is hitting his bat and he's not. it's not imploding on him. He's got tremendous bat speed. So it's not a soft barrel, it's not a hard barrel. It breaks in probably around 150 swings for us. Uh, and that's guys in their 50s hitting it, you know, and we got a, a variety of guys that hit this bat. Every one of them, you can see in the video, every one of them love the bat. You can look at behind the scenes video that I got put out on my website too. And you can hear the guy's response because I don't put all of that inside a review because I got to cut that review down so I can talk at the end of it when I talk to you guys. This bat's number one, guys, alone. This wig popper be out my long list of number ones out there to take over the number one spot by itself. The 2023 Short Porch Cell Block Wig Popper. This is a badass bat. Thanks, guys.